Madison, not only did you win a state championship, but your team went undefeated. Uh, what do you think you're going to remember most about this volleyball season? Um, I think I'll remember most the connections that we made off of the court, like at team dinners and outside of volleyball. That, of course, like we made memories um, at states and winning states twice in a row. But I think making those connections and kind of growing closer with the girls off the court really helped. I definitely agree with her. Our team culture was just so unmatched and everything was so much fun. Just such a great group of girls and our bus rides were probably the best memories that I made. Obviously the state championship was even more fun, but it was just that definitely that team culture helped us so much out on the court with the, like confidence and just trust with each other. So. Uh, Madison, did you know before the season this team had the capability to, to win another state title? Yeah, um, there's kind of an expectation since last season because most of the roster will be returning was returning this past season. Um, everyone's like asking me, "Are you going to win states again?" And I was always thinking, "I mean, if we work hard enough, I think we could." And right when um, preseason started, we right off the bat we were getting those connections down and really helping each other prepare for states and reaching that expectation. Same with Madison. It was just. We had that big like expectation and that stigma that like, oh, the returning state champions, are you guys gonna do it again? And it just proved right when we got back into that gym that we were like, oh, we really can do this again. And just, we clicked so well. And from the beginning of the season, we knew that we had a really good shot again, so. Uh, just for fun here, I don't want to get anybody upset, but if this year's team played last year's team, Madison, who wins? <laughs> That's so tough. <laughs> um, I mean, honestly, I think maybe this year's team would be last year's team. I mean, the seniors last year were amazing, but a lot of the, I guess a lot of the roster's juniors last year who are us and now we're seniors, I feel like that year of development might have helped. But that is my time, but I wouldn't have to say that. What do you think? I think I'm gonna say this year too. It was just, I think that experience a lot of us have been playing since sophomore year so being able to play with each other for that extra year or two really helped us click more this year and like we could have we finished everything off this year so I would say this year. Uh, in the state final Madison what do you think changed from the second set that Hampton won to the third set that kind of put you guys back in control? Yeah I think it was just a shift in momentum they had the momentum going their way and you can tell by the mistakes we were making um, and then once we kind of controlled the momentum put it on our side controlled our side I think that kind of kept them a couple points behind us, that third set, and kind of helped us stay in control. Yeah. What do you think, Natalie? I think it was definitely that second set after that, we realized it was a lot of our mistakes, so we knew that we were gonna need to just switch the momentum and turn it around and make sure that it was our side that we had to fix and not theirs and just keep the pressure on their side going to that third set. So two state championships in a row, five district championships in a row, Madison, what is it about this program that you're so good year after year after year? Yeah, I think it's just like the connection. We kind of all played each other in grade school, and we kind of, I don't know, kind of grew up together playing volleyball, especially in club too. So I think that like building up with the fundamentals and then like meeting together and playing together in high school is kind of like the melding of like the best of the best from like the grade school teams. Yeah. So I think that kind of, since we've been playing kind of against each other for so long, that chemistry kind of connected really well. Definitely with the club, we played club together since 11, 12, so being at this age now, we just finally were able to click, click with each other and just put all onto the court and just being able to play with people you trust really helps and just makes us even better. So. Uh, I want to find out about some of your teammates here, okay? <laughs> Funniest person on the team? Uh, probably Jill Cole. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I would agree. Yeah. She didn't get to play this year because no. um, she had an ACL injury but she was there for everything and she'll make you laugh whenever you need it, so. Uh, best singer or dancer on the team? <laughs> um, best singer? I think it could honestly be Natalie on the bus. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it, Natalie. Maybe dancer too. I'll yeah, we'll see, maybe. <laughs> How about smartest? If, if you needed help with homework, who would you go to? Oh, Maddie or Cindy. Cindy. Maddie, either of them, Maddie or Cindy. Oh my gosh, Cindy yeah. literally helps me with homework. Before, when, like the JV was playing, we would I literally just be like, Cindy, help me with my back homework. <laughs> it can be so random, she'll still know the answer. Yeah, to that somehow, she really so. helps out. Uh, what music are you guys listening to? Who do you like? Um, I really like Taylor Swift, her 1989 mm -hmm. Taylor's version just came out, so listen to that. And um, Noah Khan, I've been listening to. That's how I'm, same with me and same with Zach Bryan. But on the bus rides there, we always go for that more like hype music, music get us ready yeah. for the game. And then on the way home, we usually do like 
the more belting music yeah. and more singing music. Yeah. Um, so. Are you buying this Swift Kelsey thing? Is this true love or do you think this is more for publicity? I hope, I really hope it's true love. I really do because it like warms my heart seeing them. They're like, we're so good together. So I really hope it works out. I think, I, in the beginning, I thought it was more true love and more to see of kind of getting that publicity. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see what ends up we'll happening. Uh, Wawa or Sheets? Wawa all the way. Wawa, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> um, and last thing, favorite teachers here at Pope John Paul? Um, I would say Mr. Dunn, my theology mm -hmm. teacher. He's been like just the best. And then Mr. Cotman, my AP bio teacher, he kind of helped me realize how much I like biology. I would say Mr. Dunn too. He's just such a great supporter of everything going on here at PGP. And if not him, I would pick um, Ms. Sullivan because she really helped with all business, and that's how I decided I want to study business in college. So. Well, congratulations, and uh, best of luck in college. Thank, Thank you. you.